In this video, pen testing in Python, a topic that's both exciting and essential for cybersecurity professionals. If you're interested in ethical hacking, penetration testing, or just want to learn how Python can be used to identify vulnerabilities in systems, you're in the right place. So let's get started. And before we jump into the Python side of things, let's quickly cover what penetration testing or pen testing is. Penetration testing is the process of simulating a cyber attack on a system, network, or application to identify security weaknesses that could be exploited by malicious hackers. The goal is simple. Find the vulnerabilities before the bad guys do, right? So why Python? Well, Python is popular in cybersecurity for a few reasons. One, it's easy to learn and read, which means you can quickly develop scripts to automate tasks. Two, there are tons of libraries available to help with network scanning, packet sniffing, and web scraping. And three, you can write your own custom tools or integrate existing ones like Nmap or Metasploit into your scripts. Simply put, Python gives you the flexibility to be creative and efficient when pen testing. Let's kick off with network scanning. One of the first steps in any pen test is to gather information about the target network. In Python, we can use the socket library to perform basic scans or integrate with a tool like Nmap for more advanced scanning. For example, with the socket library, you can write a script that checks which ports are open on a target machine. Open ports can give you insight into what services are running and what potential vulnerabilities exist. You can also use the Python Nmap library, it's python-nmap, uh, which makes it super easy to automate and control Nmap scans directly from your Python scripts. Once you've gathered information, the next step in pen testing is often writing or using exploits. Python is great for this too. You can write your own exploits or payloads for things like buffer overflow attacks or SQL injection. Python allows you to customize your exploits and even chain them with post-exploitation scripts. For instance, after gaining access, you might want a script to automate privilege escalation or data extraction. There's also the option to integrate with the Metasploit framework using the MSF RPC library, allowing you to control a Metasploit from within your Python code. Python also shines when it comes to web app penetration testing. There are several Python libraries that make it easier to find vulnerabilities in web applications. One is requests. This is one of the most popular libraries for making HTTP requests. You can use it to check for common vulnerabilities like SQL injection or cross-site scripting, XSS. Another library is Beautiful Soup. This library is perfect for web scraping, allowing you to extract and analyze data from web pages. This can be useful when you're doing reconnaissance on a target. Another library is Mechanize. This tool allows you to simulate user interactions on websites like filling out forms and clicking buttons. This is useful, useful for testing web forms for vulnerabilities. By combining these tools, requests, beautiful soup, mechanize, and more, you can create custom scripts to automate the testing of web applications for known vulnerabilities. Another powerful feature of Python is its ability to handle packet sniffing and spoofing. You can use the SCAPI, S-C-A-P-Y, library to capture network traffic, analyze it, and even create and send custom packets. For example, you could use Python to sniff packets to detect insecure protocols or potential attacks on the network, and also to spoof packets to simulate attacks like ARP spoofing, which can be used to redirect traffic on a local network. These capabilities make Python a powerful tool for testing and simulating network vulnerabilities. Now let's talk about password cracking. Again, that's password cracking. Sounds cool, right? Python can be used to launch brute force attacks on login forms, SSH servers, or even hash values. While brute forcing is time consuming, it can still be effective against weak passwords. For example, you could write a Python script that attempts to brute force an SSH server by cycling through a list of passwords 
using the Paramico library. Another option is to crack password hashes using dictionaries or even rainbow tables. Once you've exploited a vulnerability, it's time for post-exploitation. Python can help you maintain access, escalate privileges, and gather information from the comprised system. For example, Python can automate backdoor installation. You can write scripts that installs a, a persistent backdoor on the comprised system. Also for privilege escalation, Python scripts can help you find misconfigurations that allow you to escalate your privileges. Another one is data exfiltration. Python can be used to gather and exfiltrate sensitive data, whether it's files from the system or credentials from memory. Python's ability to automate these post-exploitation tasks makes it extremely useful in the later stages of pen testing. If you're serious about using Python for pen testing, here are some essential libraries to learn. One is Socket for low-level network communication. Two is Nmap to integrate Nmap into your Python scripts for advanced network scanning. Three is Requests for making HTTP requests and testing web applications. Four is Beautiful Soup for web scraping and parsing HTML. Five is Paramico for SSH communication and brute forcing. And six is Scappy for packet sniffing, spoofing, and analyzing network traffic. By mastering these libraries, you can create powerful custom tools and automate large parts of the pen testing process. So that's an overview of how you can use Python for penetration testing. It's an incredibly versatile language that lets you automate scans, write custom exploits, analyze network traffic, and much more. If you found this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more cybersecurity, Python, and tech content. There's also a link in the description to my favorite cybersecurity program if you're ready to do a boot camp and make this a career. If you have any additional questions or specific topics you'd like me to cover, drop them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.